Welcome, welcome back, everybody, to another episode here in Stardew Valley at Corgi Fields Farm. I am the Berserking Corgi, and guys, since uh, the last time I played, I have gotten a lot of advice from friends and you guys out there, so thank you very much. Tomorrow will be beautiful and sunny. Fantastic. For one, I learned that the fortune teller... Um, can tell you about like drop rates of certain things as well as your luck in the mine. So the very displeased today means that you're going to have a negative to, I guess I'll call it luck on your drop rate for, um, I know that like geodes were one of the things that they said and the regularity of finding like minerals and stuff like quartz or whatever crystals or <laughs> whatever those were down there. But we have mail. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does that sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's General Store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. Well, I, if I remember, I am a long way away from affording that. So, since I'm going to have terrible luck in the mines today and I don't have to water the plants. I'm thinking today is going to be some resource gathering. Oh, that reminds me. There was something else that somebody told me. Always show tool hit location. Okay, cool. Yes, yes. Now I can actually see where I'm hitting instead of blindly throwing my axe around. That's lovely. Thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, um... I think that was actually something that a friend had told me. Okay, well, I'm basically going to spend some time uh, gathering up some resources because I have a whole day's worth of energy to expel. And I'm probably going to go through and cut down some trees today, too. I need to start clearing some land up. Oh, yeah, this is amazing. Being able to see where I am going to hit is fantastic. I love it. Oh, oh, my inventory is... I still need to get an axe. Um, let's see. Or uh, not an axe, an axe. I still need to get a chest. Good grief. Let's get my axe out. Let's uh, chop up some wood so that we can get a chest going real quickly. I didn't see there. I already have enough. Um... Let's see. There we go. I'll just drop that one piece of wood for now and we'll come back. Let's go put down this chest. Oh my gosh. It's going to be able to be nice to clear out my inventory a little bit. And come on, put it down. There we go. Let's dump this stuff out. I'm not going to need that today. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Look at all this inventory space. It's fantastic. <laughs> okay, so um, you want to know what? I'm just going to go around. I'm going to clear up resources. And I will meet back with you guys when I am done with that. Oh my gosh. Did I find that geode and just not pick it up? I must have. I must have just like broken a rock and not picked that geode up. Yay, my first geode. I never did anything with them in my first playthrough of this game. I'm going to be I'm going to be pretty darn honest. Um I know that you can go down to the blacksmith to break them. I don't know what you get out of them. Ah, uh, you want to know what? I have a little bit of energy left. Maybe I should try doing some fishing today because I know that certain fish only come out when it's raining. That was another uh, piece of advice that I had gotten. So let's grab the fishing rod. Um, I don't know, I'll just take everything else. It's fine. We're going to... Oh, I said let's, let's take the geode with us. Let's take the geode with us. I know it's a bad luck day. So I know it's probably not the best day to crack the geode. Um, but you want to know what? I live dangerously. Ooh, another book. Woohoo. Okay, that's cool. 
Uh, you know, I'm just, I'm a little over eager, I guess. So I'm just going to go get it done. And <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so you want to know, is it anybody's birthday? <gasps> I don't think I've met the doctor yet. Is the doctor in here? Hello? No, of course not. Ooh, oh, buy one small amount bass at three times the market value. Oh, I thought it said for me to buy one. And I'm like, how do I determine the market value? It's saying that he's buying. Well, you want to know what? Let's try. Let's try. <laughs> I read so well. Okay, the first birthday is Lewis's, and it is on the seventh day. All right. Ooh, there's a daffodil. And you want to know, while we're here, let's wander around. Let's say hi, George. I like you because you are honest. Uh, I have told you that already. Um, well, I kind of assumed he was your grandson, whether you have told me or not. I saw the most beautiful family of butterflies sunning themselves in the town garden yesterday. Well, it was a beautiful sunny day, despite what the weather person told me, so I can believe that. Uh -huh. Let's see if Lewis is in. He is not. Okay. Well, let's... I know that the blacksmith is this way, so let's go ahead. We'll head to the library. We'll read that new book that we found, see if it's anything good. And... On foraging, the local woods and mountains are great places to find wild produce. A good forager will clear out any weeds, stumps, or stones from these areas so that they will produce so the wild produce has plenty of space to grow. Expert foragers know the secret to cultivating wild food so that it can be grown on the farm. Isn't that amazing? Well, I don't remember it being that amazing because you just had to find seeds. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Is that it? Okay, apparently that is that's it. And I don't think I Nope. Okay, I didn't have anything for you. And you are not a very talkative one. I don't know if there's any story behind uh Mr. Gunther or Gunther. I don't know how it's said. I'll probably alternate between the two. <laughs> Today would be a good day to explore the mines. Who knows what you might find some rare ores. I was told that it wasn't. Just because I am having bad luck. So it wouldn't be a good day. Um. Wait. How do. How how I do. How I do. Process geodes. Ooh. I don't know what it is. But it's shiny. Did you see that Shiny. What is it? That, that's all I had. Um, it is Celestine. Gunther can tell you more about this if you donate it to the museum. Okay. Well, there we go. We have something to donate to the museum. Oh, this way. See, it wasn't bad luck. I got something. Probably could have... Oh, oh. Abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. Oh my gosh, look how cute I am! <laughs> What's this? You found something? Let me see it! Remarkable! It's very old. Well, it's stone, I hope so. I'd love to study this in greater detail. But it is yours. Hmm? I've got a favor to ask you. Sure. Go on ahead. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find? We can make a groundbreaking discovery together. Sure, I'm in for science. Oh, and who knows? If you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. Well, that I can double down on. <laughs> Think about it, will you? I already am in. I already told you I'm in. 
If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. Okay. That's what I, I've been trying to do, but I didn't have anything, so you kept telling me no. <laughs> All right, so... Donate to the museum. Um, there. Ooh, that was a nice little dingle dingle. Okay, is that it? Anything? Okay, well, that's it. So, let's go ahead. And I want to know what... Uh, let's... Let's try some fishing right here. Because there's a... There's a little sparkly there. And I don't know how close you have to be to the sparkly. I can barely see it. That was another thing I was told about was that the little bubbles on the water. Okay. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. I am the worst at fishing. Come on. A sunfish. Can I get it from here? Oh, yeah, it sparkled. Oh, I missed. Gosh, fishing is ho hard in this game. <laughs> Smallmouth bass. Yes, who was it who wanted that? Um, Archaeology. Oh. Well, thank you. I like money and helping for science. Delivery. Bring one small ba bass um, to Shane. Well, Shane will be going to the bar here in a little bit. So I'm just going to fish a little bit more. And we'll meet up with Shane then. Oh, um, and... Oh, oh, oh. I can't talk it. And, and to being, like, fully open... Guys, uh, I got advice from a friend, since I am absolutely just garbage at fishing, to do the easier fishing mod, and that's what I, I am actually using right now. Um, some of you might call that cheaty. I don't, because literally the last time I played the game... Oh, man. <laughs> I got too excited. Last time I played the game, I couldn't catch anything. So... Yeah, they... Uh, I really needed the mod, so I'm sorry if any of you don't like it, but we can't be all pro anglers like like you guys. Ooh, ooh, I want it, I want it, I want it, but I oh the fish! Oh, get up there! I want, I want you! I want the treasure! I want you both! Oh yes, yes, yes! No! Oh, why am I so bad at this? Oh, 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 oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> this right here is exactly why I needed it, guys. Oh, I got it. I got it. Can I get back up? Oh, I'm holding my breath right now. No, no, no. Come back here. Oh, you are... You are giving me a run for my money. You better be awesome. What are you? A shad. I have no idea. Oh, two more geodes. Um... I'm sorry about the daffodil. Let's go ahead. We will we'll eat. We'll eat these. Yes. And then we can pick the daffodil back up. Um. Let's see. Question. Um. Isn't there a way to see if something is needed? <laughs> Look at my little farmer pants and my cute shirt. That's adorable. I am in 1.4 now, guys. <laughs> in case you're wondering. Um, but isn't there a way to see the stuff that's needed at the community center? <sighs> see. Uh... uh. I thought that if you hovered over something, it was supposed to tell you, right? Like in the new update? Or maybe I'm wrong. Um. 
I'm going to go up to the community center and see if any of these things are needed. If you guys can tell me how to see stuff at the community center without having to, like, go all the way up there, um, I would very, very much appreciate it. It's locked. Oh, that's why. I haven't unlocked the community center yet. Duh. Well, don't I feel like a silly Billy. <laughs> I guess let's go ahead and just go to the bar and give and give our friend Shane this small mouth bass that he was looking for. Hey, there's the doctor. I'm pretty sure. Hello, BK. So you saw the ad I posted. Thanks so much. Well, thank you. That's the nicest that you've uh, been to me since we uh, we met. Are you going to be... Oh, okay, never mind. He's right back to it. All right. Well, sorry, I won't bother you anymore. Okay. It is a pleasure to meet you. Yes, this is the doctor. I am Harvey, the local doctor. Well, nice to meet you. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's a rewarding work, or it's rewarding work. One day I'll learn to read, guys. It'll happen, I promise. Okay. And this morning I accidentally stepped on a bug. It depends on the kind of bug. Really, really depends on the kind of bug. Because there are good bugs. Hey, kid. You're too young to be moping around in a place like this. I well, know nobody should really be moping around in a place like this. Should all be happy. Good evening. Can I get you anything? Eh, you know, looking at my my monies, I doubt it. <laughs> Good evening. Can I get you anything? Okay. Well, he just says the same thing. He's very he's customer service oriented. I've heard rumors of rare and powerful magic rings forged long ago by forgotten civilizations. I'm not sure if it's true or just a fairy tale. You have piqued my interest, Evelyn. Or Evelyn, Emily. Emily. <laughs> I didn't call you. I didn't. Oh, what was that? Did you see that? That little bloop, bloop, bloop? Oh, man, I think I've... T Let's talk to Willie. Is that saying how many hearts I have with each person? That is pretty cool. That has to be new to 1.4 because I don't remember seeing that before. That's pretty neat. I need a little warm me up to be ready. Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I need another. I need a little warm me up to be ready for another cold night on the ocean. You, you guys are going to. I know you love that voice. Okay, he says the same thing. Oh, well, hello. Oh, oh, I didn't realize anybody was over there. Hello. Hey, sorry in advance if I say anything rude. I didn't get much sleep last night. I can understand. <laughs> what do you want? Oh, okay. You're excused. Hey, Clint. Oh, I already talked to you today. Is there anybody else over here? Oh, yeah, there is this person whose name I don't remember. Sebastian. Oh, you can move in. Oh, you just moved in, right? Cool. Oh, I hadn't met Sebastian yet. Out of all the places you could live, you choose Pelican Town. Well, I think Pelican Town kind of, kind of chose me. But you play pool? That's nice. I kind of like pool. I'm not very good at it. Um, but yeah, I like pool. <laughs> well, that, that's that, uh, I guess. Let's go down to the ocean and see if we can catch an ocean fish. Because I know like different areas have different kinds of fish. Ooh, and there's seashells down here. If I don't catch anything, I can grab the O. Oh. I was told by one person, oh, who was it? Who was it? Who told me that? I, I can't remember that those look like little worms to them. And I can totally see that. <laughs> it's cute. Okay. 
Maybe we can call them little worms. <laughs> a bird hunting for worms. Stuck in the sand. All right, let's try fishing here. Let's see how bad I do at this. <laughs> what are we going to get? Oh, holy smokes. Holy sm- Oh, 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 oh my. Oh my. Oh, oh, I'm- Oh, no, back up. Oh, oh, oh. Oh god, this is- This is happening. Come on. Oh my gosh, I am the worst angler ever. Oh, we got it. Yes. An eel. You were a pain to get. What can I get rid of? Um, oh, let's get rid of that. I have a feeling the eel is much more important than a dandelion. Well, our inventory is full. Um, Let's, I guess, head back to the house and drop off some things to sell. Because I can't forget... To drop stuff off to sell. That's got number one rule. Make money every day. Make money every single day. Because we want to get our ranch going as soon as possible. I need to get stone. I need to get wood and monies so that I can afford my chicken coop and eventually my barn and all of my animals. Okay. Um, I think I, think I will sell that I I don't I remember the smallmouth bass not being important but these ones very well might be so I'm gonna I'm gonna hang on to them because that's it would just be the worst if <laughs> I go to the community center and I sold one of those fish that I needed uh, you know what, Noah? I'm just going to chop down some trees really quickly and use up what little energy I have left and hopefully get to bed before I pass out <laughs> from either exhaustion from chopping down trees or just because, you know, the nature of the game. <laughs> oh, there we go. I'm exhausted. Can I get... Okay. Okay. It's like, can I at least get this chunk of it chopped down? Yes. All right. Well, you want to know what, guys? Let's stop this off. And pick that up. I think we are going to go ahead and call it for today. If you enjoyed today's episode. Ooh, you know what? Yes. It's cold and rainy outside. We need a fireplace. Okay, if you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to give it a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. If you don't follow me over on Twitter or Instagram, I release sneak peeks, teasers, and occasionally pictures of my puppy dog, BC. Oh, fishing level up. Woo! <laughs> I am the Berserking Corgi. Have a fantastic day. Woo! -hoo. Look, foraging up too, guys. Look, we did awesome. And we made monies. <laughs> Bye, guys.